So in this video, I wanted to talk about a small little topic that I don't think gets a lot of coverage in Unity tutorials, and that is the context menu, or this little gear up here that you've got on each component. When you click on that, you get a context menu. Now, it's possible to extend the editor and add your own custom commands to this context menu. And in this video, I wanna show you what you can do with that and how to do it. So adding to the context menu is maybe not something you're gonna do all that often, but occasionally it can be really helpful and streamline your workflow. So I wanna show you a couple simple examples along with an example that I've used in my own personal project that saved me a lot of time. So to start off here with the simple things, what I've done here on the transform of this cube, I've added in two options to my context menu. If I click there, you can see here that I've got a uniform scale and move to origin. So what you can see here is that my cube, its position is off away from the origin and its scale is not uniform by any means. So if I come here to my context menu and I go uniform scale. You can see that the scale is now one, one, one and I can move it to the origin. So those kinds of things are not that hard to do manually, but I wanted to show you a simple example of what this could be used for. If we come down a little bit further in the inspector, you can see here that I've got an example script, an example component. This is a really simple script. It's just got a variable called a number. Uh, the variable is public, so we can see it here in the inspector. And if I go to that context menu, you can see I have got this increase value, and it just increases the value of that variable by one each time you click on it. Again, a little bit of a silly example, but I wanted to show you what can be done. Now let's go to what may be a more useful but slightly more complicated example of what can be done. So I'm gonna turn my canvas back on and zoom into this text element here. So what I've got here is a simple UGUI text component. Now in my own personal project, this is how I started prototyping the UI. I was using the built-in UGUI text elements and I just wasn't happy with how they were looking and I wanted to switch over to Text Mesh Pro. But in my project, I had 20, 30, 40 different text elements on the UI, and I wanted to change each of them to the Text Mesh Pro. Now, I can do that manually by removing the text element and adding in Text Mesh Pro, but then I got to remember what text was in there and such things, and it got a little complicated. So I made a custom context menu addition to switch it over for me. So if I go here to my context menu, and I come down here to this option here, it says replace with Text Mesh Pro. When it does that, it switches over to a Text Mesh Pro component, and you can see that the actual text content from the UGUI component has been transferred over here to my Text Mesh Pro component. And just in case you wanna go back, I made one that goes back, and you can turn it back into a UGUI text component. So let's dig in a little bit and look at how we can make these context menu additions. Now these are gonna be placed in a script, but they're also going to be an editor script. So in my scripts folder, I've created an editor folder. Now this is really important if you go to build your project, make a standalone version of your project. If this file is not in an editor folder, you're gonna get an error. In this editor folder, I'm gonna create a new script, call it context menu additions. Doesn't really matter what you call it, but I'm gonna open that up in Visual Studio. With the script open, the first thing we need to do is add another library. And like I said before, this is going to be a editor script, so we need to add in the Unity Editor Library. It's also not gonna be a mono behavior. We're not gonna be adding this as a component, so I'm gonna get rid of mono behavior. Now, since it's not a mono behavior, we're not gonna be calling start and update, so I'm gonna get rid of those as well. Now, what we're gonna be doing in here is adding a static function that's gonna get called from the context menu. In order for it to get called from the context menu, we need to give that function an attribute. And that attribute is gonna be menu item, and then in parentheses, we need to give it the string or the name of this item that we're going to be adding to the context menu. So in quotes, the first thing we need to do is add in context, all in caps like that. And then we need to tell it which object or which component this addition is going to be added to. In this case, I'm gonna put it on a transform and then we're gonna give it a name. What is the name that's gonna show up in the context menu? And for this example, I'm gonna just say uniform scale. And you can add in spaces to the name of your context menu item. Below that, I'm gonna have a static function that returns void, and we're gonna call it scale unif uniform. And then we gotta add in a parameter. That parameter is a menu command like so. What I'm gonna be doing here is adjusting the scale on this transform to 111. 
In order to do that, I have to have reference to that transform. And I'm gonna to have to cast this menu command to a transform. And the way I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna define a new variable, transform. I'm just gonna call it T. And this is gonna be command context, like so. And if I do that, I'm gonna get a warning because I need to cast this as a transform. And I'm gonna do that by adding transform in parentheses in front of it. With that, I now have access to the transform and I can set its local scale to one, like so. I can then create a similar static function to move the object to the origin, like so. If we save this and go back into Unity, if I click here on my cube, and go to the transform context menu, you can see that I've got the two options that I've added here, like so. Let's take a look at the more complex context menu edition of where I was changing a UGUI text element to a text mesh pro element and vice versa. As you can see here, we've got the same attribute on the static function of menu item, it's context, and I've got the name of the component where I'm gonna add to the context menu. I've named my function or named the addition to the context menu. And then down here, I've taken the command.context, cast it to a text element. Then once I've got the text element, I can reference the game object. Then what I'm doing on the next line is caching the text content from that text component. With that done, on the next line, I'm deleting the text component. On the final line, on that game object, I'm adding in a text mesh pro UGUI component. And then I'm setting the text of that to the value of the text from the original UGUI text element. You can see in the function below that I'm doing a very similar thing when I switch from a text mesh pro object back to a UGUI text element. And that's all there really is to it. Once you have this menu item attribute, and then later in the static function, you have this menu command that you cast to a component or a game object, the rest of the code is pretty normal and stuff that you might be doing in a traditional script. So there you go. I hope that was helpful. Hope that was interesting. Maybe it saves you some time in your personal project. If it was, think about hitting that subscribe or like button. If you want to go even further in supporting the channel, check out the links to my Patreon and Discord server in the video description below. So until next time, happy game designing.